All right, so we're back with another reaction video for you guys. Now, before we get started, uh, make sure you guys uh, smash that subscribe button. Also, smash that like button. Just do it right now. It only takes a quick second. Smash the like button and then uh, subscribe to the channel. So, like I said, uh, today we're going to be uh, reacting to uh, Everyday PJ's uh, latest, um, well, probably not the, looks like he actually dropped two videos today. So, we're going to actually, we'll, we'll start off with uh, CJ So Cool demands royalty pays him child support for the twins cj so cool demands royalty pays him child support for the twins wow it's starting to look like pj might actually be part of the legal team uh that's going to be taking royalty to court seems like pj has some insider information well then again i think about it um isn't he like in contact or in communication with cj so cool's mother so he might be getting information through cj's mother but anyways let's listen to this and see what pj has to say for this video man it's your boy pj now before i get into this video i want to let y'all know that we are about to reach six thousand subscribers so we're gonna have another shoe giveaway so all you got to do is follow me on instagram everyday thank with pj and follow me at everyday pj with two underscores make sure you follow them both message me on everyday thank with pj say you follow me and you'll be entered to win the shoes now if, you, if i draw your name and you're not following both channels you disqualified immediately okay well at least uh pj's got a giveaway um well not a giveaway but if you subscribe i guess up to him reaching six thousand, somebody's gonna get at least a free um some free shoes without actually paying anything you know unlike all these other channels where you actually gotta buy raffle tickets or whatever at least with PJ, the only thing you really need to do is actually just subscribe to his channel. And then you have uh, a possibility of winning some new shoes or whatever. Looks like PJ's on vacation. He's inside his hotel. He's recording this video right next to the uh, door. Um, must be like a very small hotel room. So make sure you follow both Instagram channels. And then, you know, let me know in the comment section, man, you want to win the shoes. We're going to have some exclusive shoes from Sneakers like I did before. Shout out to the homie who won. Appreciate you, boy. That was 5,000 subscribers ago. Now we got 6,000. So let's get it on, baby. Everyday people, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. All right, let me fast forward. He's got this, I don't know, some kind of clip from Robin Williams' movie. But we're going to fast forward through that. All right, so it looks like he actually changed. Now he's actually recording in the car. My everyday people who rock with me every day. And shout out to the homie Lucky Wheels and Deals, man. He keeping it lit. Hey, we, we from the Bay to FIA, big dog. Hey, check this out. We staying lit. Hey, man, shout out to the So Cool fam, man. I want y'all to let y'all know. <laughs> I'm out here. This is another confessional from the car. We going old school, big dog. If you don't know, we used to do confessionals in the car, man, when we on vacation. And we are on vacation, big dog. Hey, so I'm in the MIA, yo. I'm with my client, CJ So Cool. Now, CJ So Cool is, I'm representing him on YouTube, okay? I, if y'all don't know, this is a law offices of everyday PJ, and we clap back every day, okay? That's what we do around here, okay? So, so he's clapping back, but I thought you said you apologized to royalty. Didn't I tell you guys it's all fake? There ain't no no damn apology to royalty. He's going to be clapping back and bashing royalty every single day. I'm going to just tell y'all, I know, I know, I know all the T-Pages is going to be up in arms. And y'all actually getting a second video today. So everybody's about to go wild about this one, okay? So, hey, listen, I want all y'all to sit down and settle down. This is the legal process that we're going through. Now, I know everybody that's seen royalties, uh... Uh, uh, Instagram posts want uh, CJ to pay child support. Yeah, I didn't actually see this. Um, I'm sure you guys probably all seen it by now, but royalty posted asking me to to pay you child support is crazy. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Um, it's not it's not alarming because I've heard about women do pay child support to the man. It's not. It's not the common thing. It's not the general thing. Most likely you do see like men paying child support, but in some cases women do pay the child support. So like I said, I'm not like too shocked about it. I've heard about it. I've heard about cases like this in the past. Um, so 
I guess this is going to be one of those cases. Is that what PJ is going to tell us? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We want her to pay up, baby. Give us the money, okay? Now, listen, this is this is protocol, okay? I don't know if y'all ever been in a situation like this, but this is an active, everyday father. You know what I'm saying? So a father that gets that sees his child every day, 24-7, has the same rights as a mother, okay? It, it doesn't matter. So he has a shot to see his kids full time. He has a shot to get full custody of his kids. He has a shot to be the uh, sole cust custodial parent, okay? So, and also, that's not negate the fact that royalty's been keeping the kids away from him. And he's been an active, involved father since the day they were born. I want y'all to realize, before y'all get all up in arms and say, oh, he don't deserve this and he don't. No, actually, he do. <laughs> I don't give a damn what the law say. The, what 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 was actual proof and factual is that he was there from day one okay so and, and he's been uh there's something called uh abandonment or something like that where a child a, a parent takes a child away from the father or the mother whatever the case may be without like legal um representation okay and that's what i don't know if it's called child abandonment that sounds like you abandoning your own child wasn't PJ the one that he went off on, uh, what was that channel called? Nothing But The Truth. It was like the last reaction video on our channel. Uh, the one right before this one. We were reacting to uh, basically Beach it. PJ making fun of uh, Nothing But The Truth's uh, video. And uh, it sounds like PJ doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't think it's called child abandonment. I think that refers to you actually abandoning your child uh i don't think that's what cj is doing i think they might have a different like term for it but i kind of see i i know what he's uh he's referring to i don't know what the appropriate term is what's actually going on right now so he has full rights to ask for full custody and ask for child support and that's hey man if you're gonna fight it fight for the top hey shout out to you cj i appreciate your boy for going hard on the player you know what i'm saying Cause it is hard out here for a pimp, man. They playing games. Look, I'm tell y'all this is a legal situation. If y'all never been in it, don't give your inputs, don't give your opinions, don't give nothing if you don't really know what's going on, man. So really, we just gonna watch it play out. But I already know where this is going. But this is illegal. This is this is this is normal. This is normal for an active father who's been in a child's life from day one to go for full custody and ask for child support. I don't know. I don't think that's normal. It seems like, uh, you know, it seems like based on what PJ is telling you guys, it seems like PJ is really about uh, tearing down black women. Yeah, I guess they want to make an example out of uh, royalty. And it's kind of crazy. And uh, a lot of you guys are watching this. And it's just going to look, I don't know, it's, it's going to look like a very awkward family. You know, if CJ does indeed get the kids full time, if what PJ is saying is true, I'm only basing my reaction based on what PJ is saying, because PJ at least has experience with this because he has several baby mothers. So if he and another thing is, like what I said earlier, he's uh, in communication with CJ's mother. So maybe CJ's mother is telling him things. Who knows exactly? But what if whatever PJ is saying, if it's true boy this is gonna look real weird if all you see is the twins and cj so cool and then lexi on video and you guys are used to seeing that your you know the 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 previous family set up like royalty cj so cool and the twins and now you see this white girl in the picture i don't know it's gonna look a little bit awkward hey we start at the top big dog and then we work it from there. And you know what? As, as Sooner or later, they're going to come to a legal agreement. But I, I know where this is going. I know where this is going. New updates coming soon. But y'all better stop playing with the boy CJ. See, y'all thought everybody came out and was mad at him. But you don't do that. You CJ, you don't do that. Y'all was all mad at him for that. This man is a good man, a great father. Uh, he raised other people's kids. He did all this stuff until he broke up a royalty. Now he this. Now he that. Now, nah, man. See, Listen, I ain't never lived with the man, so I couldn't tell you exactly how he was on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, you're saying he's a good man. We don't know. I mean, we know what we see on video looks like he is a good man.
but we don't know what he did what he did to her in the in the past like previously we don't know all the details we just know what we see on video so yeah i mean he looks like a great father on video but i mean we've seen other youtubers look at cj on 32s and look at uh that recent example with him and britney you know britney came out and said that he wasn't taking care of the he wasn't even showing up to the hospital it's only after like everybody started talking about it that cj eventually went to the hospital to see his uh, newborn baby so it's i don't really believe everything i see on video um because i think they just make it look as perfect as possible and that's probably not what it is realistically speaking so we don't know if you know just because cj makes it look like he's a good father he might be a good father i'm not saying that he isn't but I wouldn't take his word as 100%, um, but it sounds like PJ just like, he's obviously team CJ, so he's 100% agreeing that uh, CJ is perfect. But from what he what he's shown on TV, hey man, you gotta give the man his props. You got to give the man his props. So, you know, regardless if you like it or not, this is the system and you gotta work it. The legal system is not built for men and it's not made by men. It, well, I guess it is kind of made by men, but the, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who the hell it was made by white men, white men who take care of their kids and they always try to keep a black man out of the household. <laughs> That's where it's made by. And we're going to. What in the world is PJ talking about? He said the system is made by white men to take care of kids and to keep, keep black men out. Like what, what are you talking about? PJ is just making up all kinds of nonsense. Wasn't he the one attacking, like I said earlier, nothing but the truth uh, channel, saying that it is nothing but opinions? But that's exactly what you're doing in this video. It is nothing but opinions. I don't know. What is he talking about? He said the system is designed by white man and something about... White men who take care of their kids, and they always try to keep a black man out of the household. White men that are taking care of their kids and and trying to keep the black man out of the household. What? What are you talking about? White men who take care of their kids, and they always try to keep a black man out of the household. <laughs> Let me replay that again. It was begged by white men. White men who take care of their kids, and they always try to keep a black man out of the household. <laughs> I don't know what is he talking about. He said white men that are taking care of their kids and trying to keep a black man out of the household. The hell is you talking about? You sound like you're making up a whole lot of shit. And that's where it's made by. And we're going to stick to it. Stick by that uh, saying right there. It was built by white men trying to keep black men out of the household. Hey, we know this from, you know, that's why they built the projects. In the projects, uh, they, they'll allow you to live for free as long as you don't have a man living in the house. Guess who lived in those projects? Black women. So so that clearly tells me that PJ has no clue what the hell is he talking about. He said, um, he said the projects are for black women. Boy, he's like, he's bashing black women like crazy. And he has no clue what he's talking about. In the projects, uh, they, they'll allow you to live for free as long as you don't have a man living in the house. Guess who lived in those projects? Black women. So, man, if y'all don't think they've been coming after y'all for a long time, y'all think CJ the problem? Nah, man, y'all, <laughs> the, the problem is the system. The system is designed to keep the black man out of the household. And so that's why. All right. If you guys, like, this is what I mean. You guys got to stop listening to these YouTubers that have no clue what the hell they're talking about. PJ has no clue what he's talking about. If you guys just go into Google right now, and try to search for, um, you know, Section 8, Section 8 housing and look up um, the demographics by race for Section 8 housing. The majority of it is white people. So how could white people be creating projects and like Section 8 housing for black people when the majority of the people that actually utilize those services are white people, not black people? So this is what I mean, like PJ... Either he doesn't know what he's talking about or he's not explaining what he's talking about or what he's trying to talk about. It seems like he's just making up any kind of inf information at this point. He said they made the, the projects 
so I guess black women can stay there to keep black men out. Like, what is that? What does this whole thing have to do with CJ and royalty to begin with? Like, you were attacking nothing but the truths a channel because she kind of used other examples, and now you're jumping off to all these like extreme examples. Like, this is not even the same scenario. We're talking about two successful individuals royalty and cj so cool these are social media influencers with millions of subscribers that what does that have to do with anything compared to uh section 8 housing and the projects and even that information is not true because the demographics by race you guys can look it up don't take my word for it the majority of people in those uh type of housing and those communities are white people that is the highest demographics by race it's not black people so PJ has no clue what is he talking about. Is in uh, CJ's legal rights to go for full custody and ask for child support. Hey man, hey CJ, the system is designed for us to use it. It's not for us, but we can use it, big dog. I'm I'm just saying I appreciate your legal counsel for sticking it out, man, and sticking it to us. I don't care if you, you can put up a thousand Instagram posts. You shouldn't have been running. You shouldn't have been running from the server. You should have just, you should have been going to the process server. That's why I'm saying, if if royalty wanted to be a great mother and a great co-parent, she wouldn't have been running from the process server at all. You know what I'm saying? CJ had no reason to have to look for your home. All right. Yeah, I don't think PJ knows what he's talking about in this video. Um, the only reason CJ would probably become successful in this type of scenario is because he has a lot more money. Uh, it's a game about who has the most money, who can pay these lawyers, these outrageous fees or whatever. We're talking about a couple hundred dollars per hour. Um, so it's going to be that game. Right? It's not a game of who can, you know, whatever PJ is talking about that we can abuse the system, use the system. They created the system, but we know how to play the system. It has nothing to do with the system. It has to do with who has the most amount of money and who's going to play the longest. That's what it all comes down to. I don't know what the hell PJ is talking about. I don't know why he keeps talking about the community, the the projects, Section 8 housing. All that shit is irrelevant, has nothing to do with anything he's talking about. Uh, and it's not, it's not like, like I said, go check out the demographics by race. You don't have to take my word for it. Go check out, you know, Google it, whatever. Uh, it's not true what he's saying. I don't know what PJ is talking about. PJ is just in his car making up information. It's kind of shocking that he went off on nothing but the truth, calling her nothing but opinions. And PJ is basically spitting out nothing but bullshit in this video. But anyways, that's just my opinion, folks. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching.